Good. Awesome. So this is Salt Lake City, just so you know. But um, thanks for doing this. We appreciate it. No, no problem. Thank you. I so I, I got to tell you, I was an intern. My first job was for Power 106 down in L.A. And when I was there, you, um, you had just cut a single with Tim McGraw. And it was a big deal because you were really one of the first crossover artists. And I remember being with like Big Boy in the Morning at the time. And, and we couldn't believe like you were doing a song with Tim McGraw. You blew everyone's mind back. Oh, man, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I kind of blew my label's mind, too, when I suggested it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, yeah. they weren't uh, too happy about it. They thought they actually, I mean, to quote some exact quotes is like, yo, are you trying to ruin your career? <laughs> you know? like, no, seriously, seriously, it was it was quotes like that and like, yo, he's lost his mind and things and and um, actually, my A and R by the name of Kevin Law was somebody who um, who I you know is dear to me to this day because we actually had a lot of um, you know some of the well he allowed me to be me you know what I'm saying it's it's it's, it's yeah. kind of hard to explain but when you're signed to a label um, your A and R plays a huge role in being the mediator between you and actually the heads of the label, so to speak. Okay. And, um, because sometimes the heads of the label, after you achieve a certain type of success, the heads of the label feel like now that they're gonna come in and now they're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like now that you became something, now they wanna steer your career. And, and, and for the most part, sometimes it works sometimes, but um, it's best to just leave it up to the artist a lot of times because, yeah. you know, they, but in this sense, you know, they, they, they came with a lot of different ideas of where they thought Nelly should go after, after really after Country Grammar and definitely after Nellyville. It's like they wanted, you know, they wanted to take it to the place. And I was just like, yo, you know, I had so much music in me that I wanted to do. That's how the double album came about. So um, hmm. the, the Tim McGraw song was on, on Sweatsuit, actually. And it was on, you know, I had put out the double CD. So when I kind of got around to wanting to do the Tim McGraw record, it was just, uh, <laughs> you know, almost one of those looks like, yo, you know, he's lost his mind. He doesn't know where he's going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he doesn't have any yeah. clue of where he wants to steer his career. And my whole focus was I wanted to put across as many number ones across as many different genres of music as possible because I always felt like as many lanes as you can open up, that's how hard it's going to be to push you out of music because then you have so many different options and so many different ways you can go. And, you know, when, when I decided that I wanted to do it, yeah, man, it, it was one of those situations to where it's like, oh, well... They almost wanted to get ready to do a new project. It was like it, there was no expectancy of it actually doing good. It, it's like they were just going to put it out to appease me. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, huh? So, so when you did the one with Florida Georgia Line, did they finally go like, okay, you get it. You, you made well, it successful the first time. No, well, you're talking about by time FGL, by the time I did that, that 2013 and uh, Tim McGraw was 2004. Was yeah. 2004. I remember when you did yeah. the Tim McGraw song, it was the first time in the car as kids. Me and my sister, my sister loved Nelly, I loved Tim McGraw, and it was like we could finally agree on a station, <laughs> on a song we could listen to in the car. Right, and, 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 and that's part of the, that was part of the thinking too as well. In order to, I wanted to to be the one to kind of bridge if you can be the bridge uh, yeah. of, of any type of genre of music again that also helps in your survival and music it also helps in survival of your career and yeah so when you think about fgl and, and tim mcgraw you're talking about nine years in between so by by the time they saw the success of the tim mcgraw record i mean you know it's pretty much hey just let the kid do him you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. they always plan. Just like right. Nelly. You know what I mean? 
You think so? Yeah. Yeah, very fortunate enough, though. You know, um, and I can't blame them. When you're doing something that hasn't been done before, all they're doing is using their expertise that, that, that they've had. Uh, that's why they're there so to speak. You know yeah. what I mean? That's why they're there and that's why they're in those positions. So I don't think it was anything malice. I just think um, sometimes you don't understand um, an artist's ideas or, or, or where he's trying to take it. So um, I'm just thankful that they allowed me to be, you know, the artist that I wanted to be. So when you decided to do Dancing with the Stars, was it the same idea? You were like, hey, it's going to get my name out there. This could be a new no. language where no, that was my big ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was basically me uh having covid fever you know we watching everything okay. uh we watched it you know what i'm saying it's kind of like yo i could do that you know what i'm saying like and and you know just talking smack i'm a scorpio so i think i can do anything you know what i'm saying? right yeah, yeah. Yeah. best at it but i definitely feel like i could be competitive and if you give me a little time to, to kind of figure it out a little bit, you know, yeah. uh, so to speak, rehearse. I figure, you know, I could give it, I could give it a, a, a good go, and and that's yeah. kind of happened. That's kind of like what happened with this. But I don't think I would have been able to do it had it not been for COVID because it, it is demanding. It's seven days a week. You got to rehearse, and if, if COVID had been here, there's no way I would have been able to do it because of the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of us, we watch these reality TV shows and we're like, oh, I could do that or I could be better at this. But when you're actually in it and a part of the process, like how much different is it? Uh, it basically, the first day I was like, yo, what the hell am I doing? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, know you, you almost want yeah. to go call my manager, my man, like, yo, yo, get me out of this now. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. I'm, I'm about to start coughing on people or something. I'm about to right. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you been like us? Are you just feeling like a cabin fever with with COVID and you're trying to find any outlet at all? Um. Well, I, particularly at that time, yeah, I think you were kind of getting cabin fever because I was used to going to the gym, but then LA just shut down completely. Um, in St. Louis. You know, you had a little bit more leeway. You know, you could kind of go to the gym, but they were monitoring had, um, how many people came in, how many people could be in there. You know, you had to you had to wear your mask. You had to do this and, and do something. And I don't know if you've been to the gym out there, but it's kind of hard with the mask going over your nose a little bit. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. yeah kind of you gotta gotta work that thing out. But um, here in LA, man, they had everything everything shut down um, at one time go to the gym if they set it up they, they set up tents and stuff outside but then they had shut that down completely and it was it was kind of crazy yeah i mean a little bit of cabin fever yeah well look man uh, i know you got a bunch of people to talk to today but we love your new song with florida georgia line again it's called little bit we're playing it here on mix congratulations yeah don't listen to labels you do your own thing you're doing fine <laughs> I appreciate it, man. No, thank you. Definitely a group effort. So make sure you check out the um, Heartland Project we do out this summer. First single off of it a little bit is cool, too. Awesome. Thanks, Nelly. No doubt. Thank you.